So this is what the Law Toolbox add-in is going to look like in Outlook. And this is what Law Toolbox is going to look like in Microsoft Teams. You can live and breathe and manage your matters inside of Outlook or Teams. It's completely up to you. Your matters are going to exist in both places. Today, we're going to go ahead and get started in Outlook. I'm going to click on the dashboard and that's going to pull open the add-in for us. So the dashboard is going to function as the first two forms of reminders for the system. When an attorney logs into Outlook for the day and he wants to see all of his upcoming deadlines, he just needs to click on the dashboard. This is gonna give him a four day view of all of his upcoming deadlines. And on the right hand side of the screen, you're gonna have a list of all of your recently worked on matters. If you click on any matter name in Law Toolbox, it's gonna to pull open the action menu, which controls everything that you can do with our product. For the purposes of docketing and managing your deadlines, you're going to spend all of your time under calculate deadlines, adding a deadline or appointment, and then view and edit deadlines. So I'll take a second to break these down. Calculate deadlines is going to have that list of trigger dates based on the specific rule set that you apply to a matter. Adding a deadline or appointment will be for all your ad hoc appointments. And then view and edit deadlines will allow you to modify a deadline or to pull a report. To get started, I'm going to go ahead and click on matters in the add-in and we're going to set up a new matter. I'm just going to click on new matter and on this screen, the only required field is going to be the case nickname. Whatever you enter here is how the matter is going to show up on everyone's calendar. Jones estate and I'm going to click next. Here you would select the state that applies to your matter. So we'll say Colorado and we want to look at all of our state rule sets. Perfect. You're going to select your rule set, accept the license agreement and click create. So what the system is doing here is it's creating an Office 365 group for this matter. Anybody that you add or remove at the stage is going to have access to the matter and all of the notes, contacts and documents that go along with this matter. Most importantly, they are all going to automatically receive the deadlines on their calendar. So I can go ahead and add Dasha and we're going to add some deadlines to her calendar. For every firm that we roll out, we roll out one central user that we call the central docketing user, and we'll configure this user to auto receive all of the deadlines in your firm so that you have a central place where you can see everything that's going on. Awesome. So to start calculating deadlines, I'm just going to click on calculate. Here I have a list of all of the triggers arranged chronologically as trial unfolds. It's also type ahead, so you could type in anything that you were searching for. Um, I'll go ahead and put in a trial date, date of death. We'll say that happened yesterday and I'm going to click next. Here the system is just calculating all of the deadlines that run off the trigger. At the top of the screen, you can see that I have nine deadlines that ran off the trigger I just entered. We're not going to automatically add those to everyone's calendar. We're going to put them into this deadline chart and then you would simply deselect all of them and then select only what you wanted to sync onto everyone's calendar and come up here to sync and click on add selected. And that's gonna push the deadlines out. You'll notice that once the deadlines have been successfully added to everyone's calendar, they're gonna turn green. If everything has not yet been added, it's going to remain in black. If any of the deadlines fall on a weekend or on a court holiday, we'll automatically roll that for you and make a note in the description in your reports that the date has been rolled. If you click to the right of a deadline, it's going to open up more options for you. So if I click on label, this is going to allow me to mark my deadlines as done, pending, follow up, urgent or ignore. And it's going to mark that in front of the deadline on the calendar and on any reports that you pull. Details is just going to tell you how these deadlines are calculated. If you needed to edit a deadline, you could come in and click on edit. All of the events in Law Toolbox will always default to being all day events to float at the top of the calendar for the day. If any of your attorneys or staff are using um, a scheduling software like a Calendly, it's not going to conflict with that and it's not going to block off the entire day. You can also convert these to time of day appointments by unchecking the box, entering in a start time and an end time. Here you could enter in a location or a Zoom meeting link. You could add a label or link to additional documents. This find meeting time feature 
is going to go ahead and search the calendars of all of the users who are shared to this matter and show you when everyone is free when you're scheduling an event. The little plus and minus sign right here is going to act as a mini calculator for you. So let's say you wanted to push this out 90 days, but you didn't want to calculate that. You could just type in your value right here. Below, you could choose whether you would like those to be calendar days, court days, excluding weekends or holidays, months or year. I'm going to say I want that to be court days. Law Toolbox will automatically calculate that for you. And it will also make a note of the new calculation in the description field. When you click update, it's going to automatically update everyone's calendar. Delete is going to remove a deadline from the deadline chart that we're looking at and from any reports that you guys pull. Um, this has already been synced to the calendar, so it's giving me the option to remove it from the calendar here. If this was an unsynced deadline, it would say add to calendar. And then history will show you a record of changes, so you'll be able to see who edited what and when. We also have a timeline view of all of your deadlines. So if you collapse December, you can see that you have one deadline coming up for this matter in December. If you wanted to share a single deadline with somebody outside of your organization, you would simply select the deadline or the appointment and use the external button. Here you would enter the recipient's email address and time zone, and that would allow you to share a single event with somebody outside of your organization. If you wanted to share everything that you have coming up for a matter, you're going to use the email button. So again, you can send to someone externally or to yourself, and that will come in in a few seconds. And this is going to be the matter report. So I'm just going to put open the add-in. This is what the matter report is going to look like. Everything is arranged chronologically with links to the court authority for the deadline. Um, if anything has been rolled, of course, it is listed right here. You can also pull this report in a timeline view, and I will pull that so that you can see what it looks like. And this is what the timeline view of the report will look like. Everyone is also going to receive an e-tickle from Law Toolbox, and that's going to be the seven-day email reminder that gets sent out before every deadline is due. This is what it's going to look like, um, and this is something that you guys can turn off at the user level. So if you have certain uh, attorneys or staff in your firm that don't want to receive this, we can simply switch that off for them. So to run through a few more of the options that you have with Law Toolbox 365, if I click on Create Team, it's going to go ahead and create the team for this matter inside of Microsoft Teams. This Meet Now button will pull everybody who shared the matter into a virtual Microsoft Teams meeting for chat and collaboration on the matter. So if I jump over to Microsoft Teams and click on My Teams, you'll see that I already have my matter created right here. All of the matters in Law Toolbox will be automatically created with one channel, the general channel. You also have the option to customize the channels that are created with each matter. So we currently have our setup to create two additional channels, one for communication and one for discovery. You can, of course, customize this to whatever fits your firm best. You can also save emails directly from Outlook into the Microsoft team for a particular matter. So right here, you can see that I have a history of saved emails and chat for this matter. Everything that you put into Teams becomes historically archived. So if you have um, attorneys or staff who are jumping in midway on a matter, they'll always have the team to refer to. Any emails that you save that contain an attachment will automatically save under the Files tab in Microsoft Teams, which is going to be the SharePoint site that we create for every single matter that you set up in Law Toolbox. SharePoint is Microsoft's version of document management. It's what you already have in your Office 365 environment. From here, you can share documents, outside of your organization. You can check them out when you're working on them so that nobody else can work on them. You can bring them down to your actual desktop or keep them in the cloud if you'd like. Completely up to you. And you can access this in Teams. Or if I jump back to Outlook and click on Documents, it's going to take me to the SharePoint site for this matter. Um, matter Contacts is a new feature that we've just added that allows you to manage your Outlook calendar contacts through Law Toolbox. Create Notebook is going to create a OneNote notebook for every matter that you set up in Law Toolbox for additional note-taking. 
Um, share matter will allow you to add or revoke access to someone working on the matter with you. And you can do this, of course, throughout the life of the case. And then the last thing I'll show you is close matter. Um, and that's going to do two things. It's going to clean up everyone's calendar. So it's going to pull all of the future deadlines relating to this matter off everyone's calendar. And it's going to move the matter to your firm's archive. You can reactivate any of the matters from your firm's archive at any time, and it will bring back all of the deadlines associated with that matter.